guys welcome back to my channel so this week's vlog is going to be a health diaries vlog and i want to start the vlog out with a quote by john lennon and this is from the inside timer app i thought this was a really good quote there's no other time but the present anything else is a waste of time all right well let's keep going with the vlog all right you guys so last week's health health diaries vlog that i did we had four goals um i hope you guys had at least one and i just want to update you guys on that i did accomplish three out of four of those goals the one i did not accomplish was the eating times so i definitely got way laxed on like friday saturday and sunday and now today is monday so i'm still going to be working on that goal this week and i am still going to be wanting to roller skate twice this week and i'm planning on roller skating today okay so this week's goals go on get your paper and pencil your phone or whatever you need you need to make some goals for this week so mine's are getting 30 grams of protein for breakfast lunch and dinner okay the affinity hoop for 20 minutes instead of 15 one session of eft tapping per day that can help with like anxiety or other issues you may be you know encountering it can help with a lot of things um 20 minutes of spanish a day so as you can see it was very some of the goals were similar i just upped the time to kind of you know challenge myself up the time so instead of 15 minutes i upped it to 20 so five more minutes so those are the main goals this week so with the protein um i have seen dietitians in the past and i've done my own calculations and i need to eat approximately 100 grams of protein a day for me i also have a lot of excess fat and weight on me so i need more protein than maybe someone who is a healthier weight so i'm not saying you need to eat 90 to 100 grams of protein a day that's not what i'm saying but that's what i need to do do what you need to do for your body and for yourself. So I'm going to be focusing on 30 grams of protein per meal that started with breakfast right now. I'm going to be making a smoothie and it's going to have 30 grams of protein. So that's going to be today's breakfast. I also want to focus on having a healthy relationship with food in particular in this vlog this week because i feel like that's something i've been struggling with i've been overeating so i've been eating eating even though i'm not hungry and i have cravings that i want to fill and so i'll eat more food to fulfill those cravings so i want to work on that this week all right let's get started with breakfast <laughs> okay so i had 22 grams of protein from this okay garden of life so I did a serving of this, I did a serving of this, and as you can see on the label, six grams of protein, so 22 plus six is 28. I also have a cup and a half of unsweetened almond milk, and that has one and a half grams of protein, so that puts us at 29 and a half. I have two bananas. Two bananas are 2.6, so we can just say I have about 30 grams, okay? So if we do the math, <laughs> we have a little bit over 30. So that's good, okay? So that is gonna be breakfast today. So here's my smoothie. I already took a few sips because um, it wasn't gonna fit. <laughs> it wasn't gonna fit in this bottle, but it is a few minutes before nine. So I'm going to take this with me on my warm up walk or just stand there and drink it, whatever. But I'm gonna be drinking this in a few minutes and I'm gonna go on my walk. All right, it's almost like a cool down time. I'm walking a little bit slower. No weights in my hands, no dancing. I try not to dance as much on the way back. <laughs> I try. I'm not always successful with that. But I hit my one mile goal. It's gonna be a little over a mile, but that's okay. I like to be a little bit over than under. But I'm gonna head back home and I'm going to do 20 minutes of the infinity hoop i may need a break um my husband's gonna be filming that portion for us because it's easier when someone else films you all right see you when i get back home okay you guys so i'm gonna be doing this for 20 minutes today i'm still getting the hang of it um but yeah i'll be trying to do 20 minutes and like i wasn't good at hula hooping 
before buying this thing. So it just, it's a learning curve. I'm just trying to practice. But today I'm trying to do like 20 minutes. Oh, okay, get a little bit of the hang of it. I never know when this is gonna actually work or not. Um, I have to take several breaks because, you know, like it will stop and then I have to restart, stop and restart. Then I'm gonna do 20 minutes of this. So lunch, I'm having some grapes. I'm having this whole thing of thick carved oven roasted chicken breast. I've already had about a third of a third of the package. So as you can see, if you have two servings of it, it will be 30 grams of protein because one serving is 15. So I'll automatically get my 30. Plus I'm also having a thing that right now it's toasting up a bit, but that has nine grams. So we're already at approximately 39 grams of protein. So I'm good for protein for lunch. So I'm gonna have this bagel sandwich, some chips and these grapes. And yeah, that'll be lunch. I just want to show you what lunch looks like assembled. Those are dipping sauces for the chicken. And then we have the sandwich, some chips, and grapes. All right. So this is like the first time I forgot my equipment. I did not have my elbow guards, my knee um, guards, or my, um, what are these called? Wrist, wrist guards. But they, they have wrist guards there. And I didn't have socks, so I had to buy socks. I always keep my helmet in the car, so I didn't have to worry about not having a helmet. But I was like mad at myself for that. I'm like, I forgot my book bag with all of my gear. Like, oh. But that's okay. I was able to skate, do eight rounds of rounds, you know what I mean? Because that was my goal, and I am sweating. Now it's time for me to go to Whole Foods and get some groceries. Ooh, it's hot. So, um, I just finished shopping at Whole Foods and getting some items. So, this is what I did. I did a DoorDash for Sprouts, uh, for things that I got from Sprouts. And then I got food here, mostly fresh food here at Whole Foods, because I like to pick out my, fr my fruit and greens and stuff. Um, I don't really like having the, you know, shoppers do it, because sometimes they don't pay attention. But sometimes I do allow them to do that. And I am going to have this for snacks. So I'm gonna have this Misfit. I really like this one. I like the caramel fudge flavor. So I'm gonna eat this. This has 15 grams of protein, by the way. Let me double check that. Yep, 15 grams. So I'm gonna have this. And I have a little bit of water in here. So I bought a 16 ounce water from Whole Foods and I am going to go home. So this is my snack. I'm going to probably make like a strawberry matcha when I get home because I need to use up my macadamia nut milk before it expires. So, All right, here is the vanilla strawberry matcha. So it's about five o'clock. So a little few minutes after, but I'm going to have this um, before having my dinner, which will be probably within the next hour to an hour and a half. All right, so I'm feeling really tired and lazy now. So this is dinner, this is just leftovers, and this is 32 grams of protein. So these meatballs are 16 grams. If I eat, this is actually two servings of pasta, and I just don't, I'm just too tired to cook anything. I'm just warming everything up, but this is also six, uh, no, this is 10 grams. Five grams each, so it's two servings, 10, 16, 26, this is two servings of bread. These two servings of bread is six grams. So I said 10 plus, no, 16 plus 10. Oh my God. 16 plus 10 is 26. Oof, I know math. Okay. 26 plus 6 is 32. Okay, so I'm going to eat that. I think I'm also going to have like a little dessert. I'm thinking I might, I might have my leftover brownie or Snickers bar or both or something. I'm not sure, but I'm I'm tired. Um, and then I'm also going to probably have Oli Pop. But that's dinner tonight. So I did hit my goal of having 30 grams of protein for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Hey, another day. Good morning. Um, so <clears throat> last night I've already did my 
20 minutes of Spanish at night. I also did a session of EFT tapping before going to bed, and that definitely helped. EFT tapping is emotional freedom technique, and you're tapping different areas of your body to help with your emotions and just feeling your, you know, feeling your emotions more and stuff. You know, at times I do cry during those sessions, which is good. Um, but yeah, so I did my session yesterday. I'm like, wow, I forgot how great these sessions are. So I'm glad I'm doing them every day again. Um, and I have my morning smoothie, same as yesterday, which is at least 30 grams of protein. And I've already did 20 minutes of my infinity hoop. I did not go outside today because I did quite a bit yesterday. As you guys know, I did the affinity hoop. I walked outside with weights and I roller skated. So today I'm just being a little bit more chill with my movement, but that's okay. And yeah, so <clears throat> that is what I've done so far. By the way, so last night I did have like a half like a half serving of like a brownie I had left over for, I don't know, at least a week or so. And I had like a small serving of ice cream for dinner, like with my dinner. Um, so yeah, and Olipop. I don't remember what flavor I had last night. One of the flavors I have. But yeah, that's just something you guys didn't see. <clears throat> so yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to update about. Um, so... Sticking to the 100 grams, well, I shouldn't say 100, it's more like 90 grams of protein, but I think yesterday I definitely hit like 100 or more, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to up my protein and eat healthier and be a little bit more mindful. And yesterday I was really hungry, so I didn't really add any like extra like vegetables or fruit to my meal yesterday, and that's okay because a yonki is like sweet potato, so... Um, so that helps. <laughs> so I'm about to have lunch. <laughs> um, I'm in the middle of, you know, um, deep conditioning my hair. But I'm about to have lunch. It's the same as yesterday. So it's like a turkey. Well, oh, instead of chicken, I did turkey. So it's a turkey bagel sandwich with some chips and some grapes. So it is at least 30 grams of protein because there's, I did double serving of the turkey. So that's 22 grams. And then the bagel is nine grams. So we're at 31 grams of protein. And there's obviously probably other proteins and other things, but those are like the two main protein sources. I may also have a drink as well. I don't know if I have like a small dessert or something too. I'm not sure, but the focus is trying to get more protein in my diet and take this as baby steps as much as I can. Make this easy, but at the same time, slightly challenging and improving my health in the process. Okay, I'm gonna go eat now. Okay, so it's like almost five o'clock. I went to Target. Well, I went to the chiropractor for my weekly thing that I do to Target. And I only got like three items, like some pizza and some body wash. And this lady came up to me. She started talking to me. And I should be used to this by now because strangers come up to me quite a bit. And they'll just talk to me and like things like that. I don't know. People just feel comfortable coming up to me. So we had this whole conversation. She sent me a text message. She's like, oh, can we network or whatever? And I'm like, sure. So I gave her my number. But yeah, this stuff happens to me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and then this right here is um, a Starbucks uh, chai latte. It's kind of like a light snack because I needed something to put on my stomach because it was already like 4 o'clock. Anyway, I'm going to go home and make dinner because I'm hungry. I think I'll make like a little salad and have pizza and probably my cupcake I got yesterday from Whole Foods. I think that's what I'm going to have today. Um, and by the way, the, the, uh, pizza I'm going to have has 31 grams of protein and the one personal pan pizza. Hopefully I only eat one. Sometimes I eat two because I'm really hungry, but that's a lot of calories, a lot of food. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, so I'll definitely get my 30 grams for sure. So just let you guys know that. Good morning. I am having my chocolate peanut butter protein smoothie again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's really, really good. It has approximately 30 grams of protein. I've been doing the same smoothie for the past, well, Monday, Tuesday, today is Wednesday, so three times. I'm gonna have to do something different tomorrow because I don't have, <laughs> 
I don't have any more frozen bananas and the bananas I have are pretty yellow. So anyway, I'm doing the same thing as I did on Monday as far as my workouts. Going outside for a walk for a mile, three pound weights, and also doing 20 minutes of the Affinity Hoop. And I'm gonna go to the skating rink later this afternoon uh, between my snack and dinner and go to my lesson. So that's the main things we're doing today. And we're also focusing on getting that protein in that we need, the protein requirements that we need for me. It's approximately 100. I think I've probably been getting 100, but I've just been focusing on getting 30 grams for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's 90, and then whatever's excess would obviously probably add up to 100 or close to it, so. Update, update about, let me close this door, because my husband's probably listening to something on his phone. Okay, update. Update of last night. I only ate one pizza, <laughs> yay! You have to understand, I would eat like two pizzas to feel full, but I wouldn't really eat. And I might even have dessert after that, actually. So that's a lot of calories. That one, so I eat, a, so I eat one, I ate one DiGiorno stuffed crust, three meat pizza. That is 700 calories and 31 grams of protein and quite a bit of fat. I don't know the fat numbers. I don't know the other numbers, but... I was just focusing on the protein and the calories. So 731 grams of protein, okay? Now I was like, I could eat a second pizza. And I'm like, okay, ask questions. Have you drank enough water today? And I did not. I did not hit my water requirement yesterday. So it could be thirst. The other thing too is like, okay, well let's eat something that's a little less calorically dense than the pizza. I had cereal. But I had more of a healthy cereal that had like, you know, flaxy kind of in it and like frozen, like um, freezer dried strawberries. I forgot the, the brand. But anyway, it's way less than cal, it was way less calories than 700 calories of another pizza and then I'll be stuffed, right? So giving myself the time to ask questions and then not automatically just make a second pizza, you know? Um, I did have a salad on the side. I ate my salad first and I had raspberries and figs in it um, with like a, with like a um, mango vinegar, balsamic vinegar kind of thing that I, I bought a while back in August. But anyway, it's really good. So I did that um, and I had a cupcake. The cupcake I said I was gonna eat, I had that. So by the time I ate all that, that's still a lot of food. But it would been it's less than what I would have eaten if I had a second pizza. You know what I mean? Like I probably saved a few hundred calories just from not having the other pizza. Like, you know, I was gonna have the two pizzas, the the cupcake and the uh salad, but instead I substituted and had the um had more water and I also had the um the cereal with a low calorie milk, you know what I mean? So that helped. So I had to be intentional about my meals and do better. So that's just something that I did last night. By the way, it's not a whole pizza, it's a personal size pizza. Okay, so if you eat a whole DiGiorno stuffed crust three meat pizza, it's not gonna be 700 calories. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. I don't know how much it is, but it's a lot. I, it's a personal, it's a personal pan, okay? It's a personal pizza. It's not a full pizza. Some of y'all probably in the back of your mind, what? No, <laughs> okay. All right, lunch. So if, for people who wanna know the calories, I would say it's approximately 700 calories for this meal. And then we definitely have that 30 grams. So it's very similar to yesterday. It's basically almost identical. I think I might have added more grapes. I actually <laughs> measured out my grapes. So one cup of grapes is like 62 calories. I was like, what? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make sure I get about a cup then. Um, yeah, look how much food that is. Huh. Anyway, and then I got about a serving, approximately a serving, maybe a little smidge less of a serving of chips. Chips are very highly calorically dense, y'all. And <sighs> I might stop buying chips just because it's like you see the label it's like 140 150 calories you might get one or two grams of protein but like the look at the volume it's so small and like you can you can get like double double you have two cups of grapes you know what i mean and it'll just make you feel better and more satiated but anyway i do like a little crunch so there you go 
Um, and then here's the bagel. Okay, so this is where most of the protein is. We have the nine grams from the bagel and then we have the, I believe it was 22 grams. So from the uh, turkey itself. Um, yeah, so this is lunch. Just came from my roller skating lessons. Um, so I'm slowly improving, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a slow process. Um, I'm gonna go home. I already had my snack. I had a matcha and half of a Snickers bar. <laughs> that was my snack today. There's people actually outside walking to their cars and walking into the skating rink. But I'm gonna go. I just wanted to put this quick entry of what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really the update. I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, I'm going to be doing EMT tapping tonight. I'm going to be doing Spanish tonight. Um, okay, yeah, I'm going to go home and I'm going to have a, make a salad and have a, the personal pan pizza again. Um, and a pop. And I don't know what else, but I'm going to be more intentional and mindful about what I'm eating and things like that. So, all right. And I'm going to be hitting my, you know, 30 grams at each main meal right for lunch and dinner. Hey, so another day. I am actually prepared to use my Infinity Hoop. I even have my Infinity sweatband on. But, uh, yeah, so I want to talk about yesterday real quick. I did count my calories. I counted, it was 2,400. <laughs> 2400 calories is what I ate now when I'm on my scale my scale tells me that I eat approximately like between 29 and 3000 calories a day so it'd be like I don't know 2971 or something like that or you know it's between 29 and 3000 calories so I'm like well if I eat 500 calories less that would be good but then I realized I'm putting myself back into a little diet culture -y, a little just a tad and so I was like you know what I want to get to a point where I have a healthy relationship with food where I don't have to count everything it's good to measure a little bit to know how much is a serving of this especially highly processed foods you know what I mean like why does it keep trying to focus sorry is that better okay so you know, for instance, if you eat a whole bag of chips, like that's multiple servings and that's a lot of calories and it doesn't make you feel full or satiated. And so I think in real time, when I saw how much grapes I was able to eat for 62 calories compared to like about 100 and I want to say it's 140 calories of just like little ass chips, you know, like 15 chips. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, of course... <laughs> It's like you're almost bound to fail if you're going to eat a bunch of highly processed foods like I've been eating and eating a lot of fast food. You have to be very intentional and you have to count your portions. You have to be very mindful of portions because you're going to gain weight. You know what I mean? I was gaining weight even though I've been moving my body every day for the past, I think, few weeks. I don't remember. It was sometime in September that I was just like, I'm moving my body every day. I don't remember the exact day. That, that, does, that doesn't matter. The point is, I don't wanna keep having to count everything. And I know if I eat a cleaner diet, a healthy diet that's meant for humans, not highly processed foods, I won't have to worry so much about counting, right? Just like I said, two cups of grapes is about equivalent to a serving of chips. And a little ass little portion, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Of course, I will be kind of like, hangry or upset after eating like a serving of chips it's not a lot of chips you know what i mean just like oreos if you eat like two or three oreos you could have like about two cups of grapes it's ridiculous so we know that these companies big corporations they want you to eat the food and all that we know all that they they're addictive on purpose and they make you want to eat more and more can you stop doing that camera can you see me oh my gosh so anyway all that to say that we're towards the end of this video. I just was like talking about what I've observed and what I've been feeling and things like that. Um, I am still focused. I am focused still on eating more protein this week. I am I am sticking to eating the 30 grams for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I have been doing that. Um, I'm hoping at one point very soon I don't have to keep counting how many grams of protein I'm eating and be more intentional about what I'm eating but we'll see <laughs> we'll see in future videos but I do want to 
end the video showing you guys the next couple meals I'll be eating in the next couple days um, because it's just going to be boring. I'm doing the same thing, you know, rep repetition and consistency is really the main parts of this journey. So, you know what I mean? I don't want to keep you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm going to be doing very similar things all the time, like going outside, using my three pound weights, doing the affinity hoop every day, cameras trying to focus. Okay. You know, those kinds of things. So, you know, it's kind of boring. So I don't want to keep boring you. I've been doing the same smoothie for days. The only difference between the smoothie today and the one yesterday, I'm not using bananas. I'm using dates instead because that's the fruit that I have um, that I could use that I want to add to it to add more protein and everything else. And dates are amazing nutritionally wise. So I'm going to put dates instead of bananas. So I'm still going to hit my 30 grams of protein. So yeah, I've been keeping on my goals, doing my Spanish, my affinity hoop, um, doing pretty well with the, the, um, meal time. Um, but yeah, let me go.